Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a tutorial of Kisuki. It just became paid access, so I want to help all the newbies, newer players out in getting the controls and yeah, knowing how to play the game. I brought my friend Star here with me because he knows a lot about the game too. And we are in a private server as you can see, since that is the best and efficient way to teach you guys because there is no match going on or some people are trying to steal anything. We can just normally teach you guys, yeah, how it works. And Star, what's up? You can talk, man. It's not scary. Hello. Okay, so we saw Danny's tutorial was so garbage. So we wanted to make one. Yeah, Danny, go ahead. Danny, I'm calling you out right now. You had a garbage tutorial. Sorry, I'm not Danny. gonna lie. Yeah, sorry. Okay, but first, what we'll be starting with is how the to most... pass. Right, Star? Yeah. Okay, do you have anything to add? To pass? Press M1. M1. M1 is left mouse click for people who don't know. You can, you can hold it, and if you see that... You can just click, but you can also click. hold it, and then you see an arrow, and it shows a yellow circle around the other player that they can receive it. So I just let go of that click, and it passes. You can do the same to me. And now instead of just um, holding it, I can click once, and if you are aiming at that player, it passes. So that's also good. The one thing about passes is though, like start pass to me, when you when you're running and he passes to me and you and you're not waiting for the ball or trying to catch it it will fly past you which you need to take in account because sometimes when you're running and your teammate passes to you and you and you see it coming but you don't run back because you think you're gonna intercept the pass it's gonna go outside and the team is gonna the other team is gonna get the ball so start pass i'll show you how it's done so you see it coming and then you run back and then you got it that's how you get passes if they are passing when you're running. Just to run a little bit back, try to stay in the line, and yeah, you'll get it. So, the thing is with passes though, so let's say Star is standing right there. If a team, if an other team player is standing like, let's say here in the middle, and he presses G, and he's facing the ball while it's flying, if it comes into his body, he can intercept the pass. So be warned, if you sometimes do a pass and the other players from the other team see it, they can intercept passes. Mostly it only works when it's very close by or when it's like medium range or far range. Because sometimes when you are too close, you can't intercept it. And when you're sometimes too far away, uh, it just phases through you. So it doesn't, you don't get the pass or it, you don't intercept it. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's pretty much how passing works. So yeah, what's the next? What's next, Mr. Star? Wait. Okay. And we're just taking the most turn. important thing in the game: bumping. Yeah. So. Okay, how you wanna do this? So let's say, uh, wait. Mo is now running. Okay, let's say I'm running. L let's say, let's say that that's my goal. It's not my goal at the moment, but that doesn't really matter. Who? Let's say I'm running towards there, and I want to shoot. When he is in front of me, or presses G, he press G. Press G star. Yeah. Then you see he's in guard mode. That way, let's say I will. I want to go up to the thing, and then he bumps me away, so my charge also goes away. Because you have to hold E to get your charge back. And the more or the better color it is, or like green, if it's fully green, your shots are more likely to hit. Otherwise, they will miss. But yeah, if you try to run to the goal and you get bumped, you lose all your charge, and they have a they have a chance to steal the ball. You can see it for me when when I'm trying to run. He bumps me back, and then he can immediately M2, so right click, sometimes it doesn't fully work, yeah, right click, and then you can steal, but the problem with, the, and then he has the ball, and one thing is, if you're running, you can't M2, because he's running, so always when someone is running, you gotta bump him before you can steal, 
otherwise you can't so you can't steal a running guy so also a thing to note when you're trying to pass to someone and the animation is like throwing it forward if someone presses m2 on you while you're throwing he can steal the ball but that very well it almost never happens but it can happen if you time it correctly also um c and z are for dribbling to the left and to the right because if you're running you can press c like that to dribble to the left and then press c to dribble to the right the thing is if let's say the ball is in your right hand if you press c it takes longer for the animation to pop because you go to the right side again in that little interval of of the animation not already going to the dribble they can also steal the ball from you if they time it correctly it rarely happens but it does happen so yeah that's also a thing to take a note of also if you press x when you're standing still you can do a backstab fake him and then maybe shoot release e also a tip for me at least it was i want to use some people do it some people don't if you hold e and then press escape and let get go of e then escape again your charge automatically charges and you don't have to hold e so that way you can just do some dribbles to the hoop and then you can just press e once and it shoots I don't, I don't have enough accuracy to shoot those, but we'll get into that later. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can use that tactic to also, when you don't have the ball, like you just saw me, pull, pull it down, pull it up, to get uh, your fully charged. But beware, when you get bumped or someone screens you, which I'll get into in a second. Star, let me shoot it, so I can show it. Okay, oh, I know you can pass. I have to, I don't have to have the ball. So yeah, sometimes when let's say, let's say I have my charge right now, right? And then start from behind, just, just screens me, if it if it helps, try and T. Press T if you want to screen. And if you walk into that, see, your charge goes away. So let's see, let's say um, your teammate has the ball and you have your E charged with the method I just taught you. If you run into a screen or you get screened, it goes away. So you have to redo the process or hold E whatever you prefer but i really prefer the escape one since it stays without you having to hold e so you can have more fingers to do the other things so when you let go of e when you don't do the escape charge it goes away and you have a small amount of time to dribble and shoot before your ch charge completely goes away so let's see right here and i press e again and then still full it green so you have a small time when it goes away that you still have your green charge because if you wait too long it goes away that's pretty much how the charging and the dribbling works t is very good to screen for your um, teammates let's say i have the ball and i'm running up and let's say like star comes in and tries to screen me or something well if my teammate screens him then he can't jump for a short a short period amount of time so i can still do the layup without him intervening because my other guy screened for him so screening is a good help for your teammates or they help you to make you score so yeah that's pretty much how you screen with t and he has to restart discord yeah sure let him go for it that's pretty much how you screen okay and let me explain a little bit more about dribbling so yeah like i just taught you you have to face the hoop to dribble because if you face the other way so the opponents right so if you face the other way or your own hoop, you can't dribble. So you have to be facing your opponent's hoop. That's pretty much what you gotta do. I prefer doing um, only this fast method for dribbling. But sometimes when you're when you when someone expects it, they will go to the right side already before you're even dribbling. So sometimes you gotta fake them with doing that, which is doing the long long one instead of the fast one. That, but that's pretty much how dribbling works in a nutshell. It's not really hard, but you gotta get used to it. So yeah, Star, you got anything to add? You can also dash with your uh, defensive mode. Oh, when yeah. you press D or C or X, you just dash like to the sides. Yeah, I'll explain it too. So yeah, it's just like a normal dribble, just in G mode. Um, it takes a little bit of stamina, so beware. But, and it also, you can't just spam it, like, constantly. You have to, it, it has to be a little bit of time before you can use it again. So, let's say he's on that side. And I try, I press G, and I see him running up. Just run that star. And I just do that. 
and then it bumps in and then I can immediately steal. You just have to time it correctly and you need to see how far you can jump. Sometimes you don't get it, sometimes you do. It's kind of tricky to pull off, I rarely use it because I'm not that good at it. But you can use it if you master it, a lot of people do. So that's um, also something to take note of. But yeah, it's pretty much how you defensive, do defensive stuff. So one more thing, star, come here. So also one thing to note about shooting. Let's say I want to shoot this shot, right? And he is in front of me. And he presses G, you have to press G. So let's say, go in front of me. Like, he doesn't bomb me, but he, but, oh, don't, don't go too close, don't get too close. So that, let's, you see the triangle in front of me is red, so that means he contests me. Contest meaning is that you shoot, it is likely to miss. Because contest, you know, if someone contests you, it will most than likely miss. So let's say I'm green and he doesn't contest me. You can see, it goes in. So contest is a very good method of, let's say, let's say your opponent is a little bit too far from you and tries to shoot. Just run to him, press G, and then be in his face. And then you can pretty much just, yeah, just his shot just airballs and just flies away. Rarely it goes in, but that's like... Like, there is no, almost no chance of that going. Also, when you uh, shoot, I think it was in, uh, also in G. Um, if you press G, so press G. And then I try to shoot, but he doesn't have contest. He runs up to me, and then he presses space. That's a way how you can block it. But pretty much, he tries to shoot, you press G. So that, let's say you're not going to make a contest or you just want to jump. You just run towards him, you press G and then space bar so you can jump. You have to be a little bit close, otherwise you can't intercept it or smack it down. Depending on how much your strength is. Because to, to be honest, strength is a major factor on how high you can jump. So sometimes if you don't have high jumping power, you're not going to get it. And some people have a lot of jumping power, so they can get high shots. So that's something to take note of, which you can use strength for. This doesn't mean you should put everything in strength, but you do need a little bit of strength if you want to block shots, uh, at least from far away. So yeah, that's there pretty also, much how that works. There's also another way to block shots. Is there? Try to shoot real quick. Okay, do you need to be contest or what? No, no, just try to shoot. Okay. No, it's, like, it's the bomb. I'm in the bomb. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We'll edit that out. We'll explain the blue thingy later. I know, I know, we will explain it a little bit. So yeah, there's another way to stop someone from <coughs> shooting. Okay, come here. Do I need to press uh, shoot now? Yep. Okay, then I shoot. And if you are literally in someone's face, so let's say, pick up the ball, shining, star. Like, let's say you're, like, at this moment, I'm gonna bump him because I'm too close. But let's say I'm a little bit close to him while he shoots. You get the effect that he can't shoot anymore because you're in his face. That's also something you can do. So let's say you're a contest. You don't want to contest. You can't jump or something. There is something in between. Just try where you don't want to waste any pool or stamina. Just go here. Come here, start. Just try and shoot on me. And I'll show you that you just have to run close to him. And then just press G and then you can pretty much just do that. Let's say he tries to score now. I see him shooting and... Okay, that was a little bit too fast, but uh, try again. Because you gotta time it correctly. If, you, if you're not uh, fast enough there, you're not gonna get it. That's why sometimes contest with, contest with G and jumping is a very good thing. Okay, good, do for it. Shooting in my face, I see it, I press G. So I can pretty much block his shot immediately that I can't shoot. And you can pick up the ball right after. Because you get, I'd say you get stunned for a little bit. So he just can't pick up the ball after he gets, yeah, that animation or whatever you want to call it, gets locked down. So you can just pick it up after that and just start dribbling towards the other opponent's goal. That's pretty much how you counter shooting. So what else do you have to add? Also, okay, give me the ball. Uh, okay, take it. We're not on the same team. So, if someone bumps you, bump me real quick, and they'll try to steal it, you can quickly press F to post up, so they can steal it. Yeah, as you can see... And then you can pass to your teammates. Yeah, then you can pass, press F again. If you can, when you can. 
because I think it's... But you will have a bow, so you can't use it infinitely. Yeah, you can't use it infinitely, because the more people bump you, like, see, I press M2, it doesn't, it just bumps me away. So give the ball to me, and then I'll, sh and then I'll show you it on my screen, because you can see... Like, see that little blue, light blue bar? The more he bumps me, the more it goes away. When that bar is fully depleted, you can steal. Unless sometimes you can't pass while someone is bumping you in the F position. Because you press F to do it. So, let's say he bumps me and I'm trying to pass to someone. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it do. I'm just, sometimes I just spam M1 to pass. And then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I do highly recommend if he bumps you, try to move back or try to dribble away from him and then pass. Because sometimes they can steal it. Because let's say, try and steal it after my mode goes away. Like, I get stunned for a little bit when my mode goes away. So he can just instantly steal it if he wants to. So just be aware of that. Because that is tricky. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can steal, block, and shoot. Those are the basics anyway. We And he missed it. So, okay, what do you want to talk about next? We didn't explain yet the blue bow and the purple one. Okay, okay, I'll, I can explain it. So I'm gonna just get it back for now. Do we need to be in the same team now? No, no, never mind. We need to explain the blue thingy as well. Okay. Okay. So let's say you see that blue bar uh, under me. If you walk, it doesn't deplete. It just stays there. But if you run, it does. This is your stamina bar. It's also dependent on stats, how fast it drains. So let's say you have like... This, the, you don't have to get these stats, I'm just saying, like, if you have 60 speed and, like, 20 stamina, it will drain a lot faster than normally. Just beware when you're trying to run or do a dribble, the blue bar does deplete, and once it does deplete, like, let's say, let's see, it depletes now. I can't run anymore until it's, like, a little bit back. Let's see, it's a little bit back, I can still run again. So the problem is, with if your stamina runs out... So let's say I run towards Star, my, my stamina's run out, I can't run anymore, he can instantly steal. So that's also a thing to take a note of. You have to be a bit in, or patient and watch your stamina bar. If it runs out or something, just get close to your teammate or pass to them when they're open so you can regain your stamina. Or sometimes when you have the ball and you post up with F, you can get... A little bit of stamina back but it takes way too long so i recommend if your stamina goes out or just walk if there's no one yeah if there is there's no one like in sight you can just walk to get it back and then run again for let's say my blue bar is gone and it then comes a little bit back and i still need to go a little bit and i can still use it and then go e to do a layup so yeah that's pretty much how stamina works okay how to lay up how to lay up take the ball okay so what what i personally do i just get the uh, max uh, the max shooting thing yeah you i want what the uh, hoop and spam e just spam e like here yeah because you have to like the, yeah this is a very good tip if you're new at the game you need to have your charge at green if you don't have it at green you're gonna miss most of your shots or layups like later when you're more your stats are more advanced which we'll talk about in another video because stats are kind of or in this video i don't know yet but the stats are kind of complicated for something because because it depends on what kind of character you want to be because builds are there to make your kind of character because you can't just have a very balanced everything in every stat because that is bad you need to focus on what you want to be because if you just choose like a few stats or all of your stats you want to have at like 50 that's not good that's not balanced that yeah it's technically balanced but it isn't so what i mostly do if you have a lot of stamina you can just dribble and then maybe dribble again and if you press spacebar right after your dribble you kind of dash forward that's also a thing to take a note of so let's say i am here I dribble, I dash, you have to run, and then spam E. That's how I do a layup. So let's say you don't have stamina, you have just a little bit, then you run towards the hoop, then right about there you spam E, and then you do a layup. You have to be running. If you don't run, you're not gonna lay up, you're gonna do a normal shot. Also thing to take a note of, if you're too close and you press E, you are too close and most of the time it will break, it will fall out. Because you're too close. So I do recommend spamming E around here. So you have a good amount of space to go in. That's pretty much how layups work. 
you can also dunk in this game yeah you can also dunk in this game um that's for more for strength builds and center centers can dunk right away but let's say a center has 20 strength and i have 50 strength so he can try and dunk me but if i'm in front of him with defensive mode he can't dunk because i have more strength so he can't pretty much just like in normal basketball if someone just pushes you away because he has more strength than you you're, you're not going to dunk, but if you have more strength, you can just push him away and still slam it in. So that's pretty much a strength. The more strength you have, the more chance you have to succeed your dunk. Because if, if your opponent doesn't have more strength than you, he can't block you. He just gets bumps away once you, once you dunk. The thing with dunking is that you need to be like this close for it to work or something. Like this close. Okay, give me the ball. Okay. So basically to dunk, you need like yellow or green... Uh... Ball. And then just press E from here. Yeah, like that. But it's not recommended to dunk because it takes a lot of pull. Yeah, only dunk like in in bad situation or when you're losing with like two points, four points, and your pull is almost gone. Anyways, I don't know. No, no, no we'll get into that in another time. But we yeah, if your pull is gone, you can't dunk anymore. So just just be prepared. Like the pull is your purple bar. It depletes over time. Like it's kind of like your stamina, but it's kind of like your stamina. Um, your it's kind of like your stamina overall. The less pull you get, the the slower your shooting is gonna be, the slower your dribbles are gonna no, not your dribbles, the slower your running is gonna be. Uh, you can't stop pool from draining. The more stats you have in pool, the the less it drains, but it does drain over time and when you do actions. Which you can't stop. It's just something that happens. Uh, yeah, it just oh it depletes over time. As you can see, it, a lot of things get slower once your pool depletes. So dunking and shooting threes take quite a bit of pool so don't spam those because you will run out of your pool very fast and that makes you super slow and easy stealable so yeah just pay attention to your pool as well so don't well in the beginning you don't really have to pay attention that much but just don't do any weird shots you can't do or dunks for no reason because that's going to deplete your pool very quickly okay that's pretty much how you dunk and pay attention to your pool Anything else to add, Star? Mm, nope. I think that's it. I think that is most of it. Oh yeah, yeah. We have to also have to explain one more thing. So sometimes, if you're in a bad server, so it's server related. When you're EU and you get into an NA server, you can press Shift F3 to kind of see a bar on the left side. You can see your MS. If it's if it's just your normal server, you can pretty much do fast g and jump when it's na sometimes when you press uh, space to if you press g and press space right away it doesn't jump it dashes forward just because you're it's yeah it's server lag like you there's nothing you can do about it so sometimes when you're in na you have to run press g wait a little bit before you press space bar but that's just that's just server dependent so i just hope you don't you guys don't get into um yeah bad bad servers it can happen and it's frustrating because everything is delayed but yeah there's nothing really we can do about it but yeah that's pretty much how that works then there is one more thing i want to teach you guys right star what no no two more things two more things so there is also a skill when you get level five you get a skill but let's say i have a dribble skill what level five level 25 i mean level 25 Level 25, you get the skill. If you press Q, you kind of get an aura around you. And let's say you have a dribble skill. Uh, you have to try out different things for, before you can know what your skill is. You can also ask in my Discord server, which is in, will be in the description below. Um, what your skill is, just show me the name and I'll pr try and help you say it. So let's say you have a dribble skill. You press Q and then you do a dribble and then it does your skill for you. So depending on what you get... Let's say I have a passing skill, I press Q and then I pass and then it does your animations for your skill. And that's it. The same for the same for layups. You press Q and then layup. And that's when it does a layup skill. Same for dunking. And that's the same for shooting. That's pretty much how skill works. Then there is one more thing, which I pretty much should also tell you. The breakthrough thing. The blue the blue particles which you saw on the beginning of the match. So start. Let's show them that. 
So let's say he is running and I'm standing still. If he runs into me, like that. So yeah, you have to like, if he runs from far away, try to run from far away into me. Like he gets it, he just gets it. If someone is standing still, you can, or, and isn't in defense mode, because try it with defense mode. Or out, yeah, no. let, let me go Let's to show them the stamina thing. How much stamina it gives. Oh yeah, true, true, true. But I don't have any, I have stamina, okay, never mind. I need to drain it real quick. I need to drain my stamina real quick so that you can see. So let's say he's standing still, I run towards him, and bang. See how much stamina you get back? So if someone is standing still, or let's say, try and steal it now. When I'm not in front of you, and then it, it takes a short time for him to be able to start running again. So sometimes when they miss steal, you can use that opportunity to just shift or run into them, and then you get stamina back. Which could also be used, let's say I want to uh, score, so I do this, then I dribble, and then I dash, and then I can do a layup. So that's very useful, because sometimes you can just use that drive you get from from him standing still to get a kind of a boost because i can dribble into him but it wouldn't do anything you just have to run into him and then you can just do a technique but let's say he's in guard mode and i try to run into him it doesn't work you just get bumped so it only works when someone is standing still without g mode because g will just bump you away which is not very good and that's pretty much how the game works it's a lot to take in but yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can also, you can always go to my Discord below. We will be there to help you, maybe get into a private server and teach you some extra stuff. These are the basics you need to know before playing the game. I know it's a long tutorial, but if you go into a game without any knowledge, people will just be toxic and that's not what you want. You at least want to know the basic stuff. Is there anything else you think we need to tell? Um, nope. That's all. The thing is everything. Uh, for the stats. Okay, so for the stats, what I want to do is, because like stats are a little bit hard, I'll explain it simply right now, but if you want more in-depth detail or questions answered, go to our Discord where we answer more questions. So let me just go over it real quick. Shooting is how fast you shoot. The more shooting you have, the faster you shoot. And then there is, um, let's say, stamina. Stamina is your stamina bar. The more stamina you have, the more bar you have, and the more bar you can run around with. Just be, just pay attention. If you have a lot of speed and not too much stamina, your stamina bar will drain faster. It will drain faster if you have too much speed and less stamina. So be aware of that. Pool is also very handy to upgrade because the less pool stats you have, the faster it will run out while doing moves. Because let's say I have like 100 speed and I have like 20 pool, then when I run, my pool runs out faster because my speed is too much for my pool to handle. That, uh, that's also the same thing with stamina. My speed is just too much for my pool to handle. Then there is also handles. Handles just increases how far you can dribble and how, f I think how, f or just how far, right? How fast do you move the ball? Oh, yeah, that's also how fast with the ball, and but also dribbles a little bit farther. So handles is how far you dribble, and you're faster with the ball. So let's say you have 60 speed, and you have 100 handles. So that means you can run faster with the ball than you can run without. That's pretty much what that means. Accuracy, let me explain real quick what that is as well. So from the beginning on in the game, you have low accuracy. There's nothing you can do about it. So mostly when you begin the game, you want to do layups or shot or close shots like this. I do recommend layups more often because beginner players mostly don't block those and sometimes they do, but you can also just fake them out with a dribble or press X if that works. Then another thing, um, accuracy, right? So, how accuracy works is if you have 60 accuracy or 55, 55 or 60 accuracy, you can shoot from here before this line. I don't have it, so it's probably not going to go in. But yeah, 60 accuracy is needed to shoot deep twos on yellow bar. Because you can shoot it with, mostly you do greens. But if you are in a rush and you have a yellow bar, you can shoot with 60 accuracy from anywhere in this bubble. And for trees behind this line, you need 90. Just beware, if you want to get that, it takes a lot of pull. And you need, like, if you need help with your build, ask, ask, ask. Because a lot of people, what they do, they put stats everywhere and they ruin their build. You don't want to ruin your build. That's what our Discord is for. We help you guys with your builds. 
So yeah, that's pretty much how accuracy works. At beginner, I do really recommend not going um, for for high shots because as you can just see, my accuracy is like 35, and you're just gonna miss most of the time. There's chances, there is chances you can get lucky and hit it, but a lot of times it will just miss. So just do try and do layups, as you can see. That's pretty much every stat explained in a nutshell. I don't. There is probably more in depth we could tell you, but just join Discord server so we can more in depth tell you. So these are just the basics you need to know. Anything else? Nope. I don't really think that's everything. Well, I I hope this guy helps you. And yeah, I I really recommend joining our discord server because we really want to help you guys and we do also these lessons just in vc or in the private server if we have time we'll do that for you guys so yeah just saying i'll put it in the description and i want to thank you guys for uh, watching but before i go i want to mention one more thing actives every 10 level you have an active and when it show when you win a match and you have enough exp for every 10 levels a screen pops up with like um let's say something four things can pop up and they say and they say something read what it says ask for help if you want help sometimes there is like um it increases your stamina by two percent your stats it means your stats and let's say you have 40 stats and you pick the two percent you get 42 stats that's what you can get there's also something called pass for actives which could be Let's see, there is something called Pass Boost. Every position gets different type of stuff they can get. Pass Boost is that you can pass longer distances. Because you can't just pass from here to the whole court. So pass Boost is you can get more, more distances. Just read what it says and then you can see what you gain from it. If you need help with it, just ask in the Discord server in the normal one. Or me, or, or Shining, or in the official Kizuki voice, uh, voice, I mean general they also will help you if you need help and that's pretty much what actives are you really need to ask because those are important if you get actives the one who gives you pass boost and stuff those are very important to ask because some of them are super good and some of them are a little bit worse so yeah that's pretty much everything i don't think i forgot anything so yeah i want to thank you guys for watching this video of tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe we'll do some more on this game for gameplay or we'll explain some more in hell of people. So yeah, once again, join the Discord in the description below and me and Star are out. See ya.